Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Magda, and today we're going to talk about data analyst jobs in Luxembourg. So let's get started. So first of all, as usual, I'm going to do the overview of the jobs, uh, like what you need, and then we're going to take a look on the different job posts. So let's start with what type of degree do you need? So most of the places wanted bachelor or master degree in different types of things, also depending what exactly you're going to analyze, but most of the job posts in Luxembourg wanted you to have a degree in computer science, either your engineering or something connected to finance business, so it was economics, finance, management, or others were more mathematical, statistical specific, so they were also wanting this type of degrees. Then about languages, I only found job posts in Luxembourg with English and French, however many of them wanted both. So this is the unusual situation I would say, because I wouldn't expect someone working with data to have to speak French, but apparently most of the, maybe not most, but like around half of the job posts wanted you to have both English and French. I haven't found any other job posts wanting to have anything else than English or French, both as I said, but also there were some with only English. So that's definitely feasible to find. Now let's move to the qualifications and I'm going to look down because I have to read them through. So for sure, previous experience in finance that was often there or in marketing, depending what type of data you would have to analyze. Then skills in databases, SQL, R or Python, understanding of data governance and data quality. What else do we have here? Power BI, Tableau, Quilk or any other data visualization softwares, data model analysis, data analysis and monitoring, data design, some of the posts want Java or Google Analytics, project management if it was a little bit more senior, then working with panel data experience, SAP, Microsoft Office, DAX, Power Query and Salesforce. These were main. We're going to see later the job posts that maybe they will ask for something else. And for like soft skills or more like characteristics of you, you should have communication, curiosity, focus on quality, patience, accuracy, creativity, communication and good learning skills and proactive, and some of them were saying quick learning. So these are definitely the things that if you want to work as a data analyst in Luxembourg, you should have, because many, many job posts were very similar. And now we're going to take a look at them. Next week, we're going to see the salaries for data analyst jobs in Luxembourg. But today we're going to take a look on the job post. So let me share my screen. So yeah, basically first look on LinkedIn. That's my favorite place for kind of office jobs. To look for and we can already see that there are currently 888 data analyst jobs in Luxembourg from which 54 are new and I opened few of them so we can take a further look. Let's start with Deloitte, data analyst and BI specialist job based in Luxembourg. You can always pause to read through the description of the job but we can already say that it's between four to five years of experience so it's someone a little bit more experienced and honestly most of the jobs I found this way so they were already for a little bit more experienced people. I hardly found someone without ex uh, the jobs open right now in Luxembourg without experience. So also be aware of it that maybe you should start with something or at least maybe start with different job having some background from your studies or from your interest with data analytics and then go pure data, uh, data analyst. But maybe you can start in some other teams and then kind of like redirect. <laughs> There you go, and your skills are graduate and bachelor's degree in business intelligence, analytics, mathematics, or computer science, have a minimum two, three years of experience, which is kind of contradicting what we read earlier, but that's usual in job posts, mostly from big four. Have a demonstrated experience working in reporting tools such as Power BI or SSRS. Have a good experience in data modeling and analysis. Have a good experience working with concepts like data warehouse, data lakes, ETL, and use of traditional uh, relational database management systems like SQL. Have experiences with SSIS, SAP, business objects, which is basically older version of Power BI. I have an analytical mindset, good problem solving skills, showing team spirit, and some other stuff. English is enough, but French will be considered as a plus. So this is, for example, for Deloitte. Next one is data analyst through some agency. I assume at least job description. Again, you can pause, read it through, don't worry. Languages, French and English, mandatory. Previous experience in financial industry, outstanding written and oral communication, SQL, R, Python, data governance, data quality aspects, data visualization, Power BI, Tableau, Quilk. French and English are mandatory again. Bachelor plus five, which I assume is five years of studies or engineering school. 
eager to learn, evolve, and courageous to acquire new skills. So you can already see from both of the posts that they are quite similar to each other. Let's move to another one, data analyst slash Power BI developer. So for sure, this one will be more focused on the Power BI. So Power BI, reports end to end, updating the reports, validating them, basically everything connected to BI, at least in that specific job post. So you can read it through and you should be fluent in English, bachelor degree in economics, finance, mathematics, statistics, computer science, two plus years of experience in BI development, data analysis, and business analysts, a two plus years of experience with report and dashboard development in B Power BI. Then also they mention SQL, MC Excel, DAX, Power Query, and a few other stuff that you should have. And also what it's good to have, they also mention some other things, including Google Analytics, Salesforce, or Python. So there's a lot of requirements. I would say this job seem a little bit more senior. They don't ask you I know they ask you for two plus years of experience. So next one, this is for Ferrero, e-commerce data analyst. I would say in Ferrero, you would expect a little bit more of, you know, product uh, analysis, maybe crisis analysis of product, a little bit description of Ferrero. Let's go, let's go. Bachelor, master in engineering, economics management, understanding of e-commerce metrics and analytics, five plus years of experience in similar uh, function, analytical skills, and for IT, you should know Microsoft Office, building dashboards, Power BI, Tableau, SQL, uh, Google Analytics, and then they talk a little bit about panel data, programs, and SAP languages, English, any other would be a plus. So very usual situation in Luxembourg. Moving to next one. This is actually super interesting, but I can already tell you it's going to require you to speak Chinese. Any job in the Bank of China requires you to speak Chinese. So if you speak Chinese, be sure that you're going to apply to the Bank of China. So senior data analyst, how many years of experience do they want? Okay, they want a six years of experience for senior data analysts. They want data modeling analysis, data mining, application system maintenance, application architecture, design and development. They also want you to be, to have at least bachelor's degree in computer science or related fields. And they want you to know Python, Java, SQL, Oracle, and there are some libraries of Python. So this is quite demanding job description, I would say, but definitely worth trying if you know Chinese and if you have some experience in data analysis. Last one from LinkedIn. Let's take a look. The tasks, benefits, languages, again, French and English mandatory, experience in financial industry, SQL, R, Python, data governance, data quality, Power BI, and all that stuff. As you can tell, they are very, very similar jobs. Now I can show you a few more jobs that I found via Glassdoor. As you can tell, there are 329 jobs open right now, and there are many, many different sectors. I'm not going to go as deep as with the other because the job posts are quite similar, but you can read them through and have a look. I would say the most important stuff that was very much occurring a lot was data analytical skills, some experience in previous jobs, your autonomy at job, being dynamic, learning quickly, then uh, languages, of course, whatever they want, years of experience, however they want, but also some experience with databases, SQL, Python, maybe Java, maybe R, any type of program softwares that will help you to analyze the data in a quick way. So this is quite interesting, in my opinion, to, to do. I found it relatively rare that you have to know French for some jobs. And also I am quite surprised that there are not so many junior positions. Definitely that's my understanding of all of it. But if you want to come here, definitely you will find a job. And next week on Sunday, we're going to see how much they're going to pay you for that job. So stay tuned for that one. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would hit the like button. This way, this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about jobs, Luxembourg, living here, expenses, and traveling. So if you enjoy this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about jobs in demand in Luxembourg and the Luxembourgish playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.